What's up, y'all? It's been a while since the Christmas tree been in the back, but the Christmas tree is finally up. Happy holidays to all you good people. But today we are discussing the, I don't know, the resurgence of Panasonic. By the way, shout out to the, today's sponsors. They're not sponsored, but Pure White Hennessy. If you ever wanted to sponsor a video, go ahead and do me a favor right now. Hit that like button because you know it definitely helped the channel out. We've been growing like crazy, y'all. Trying to hit 1700 before the year is out. Comment, we in the building. Let me know that y'all in here. Well, Panasonic is... You know, they, they're coming out with some bold claims, okay? So it's on today's episode of What the Frame, we're going to discuss if Panasonic, with their new bold claims, is it enough to make me jump ship being an ex-Panasonic user? Let's talk about it. All right, so check this out, folks. Like, as some of you all know, I actually came from a GH5. And to be real, if the if the GH5 had face detect autofocus, I would still be with that camera. Compl being completely honest, but for a lot of the running gun projects that I was shooting, that autofocus just, it was non-existent. But now Panasonic has came out and said like, hey, our new autofocus will be better than Sony and Canon's. Now, bro, <laughs> now listen, that's a bold ass claim, bro. Like that's a really bold claim. That's like somebody who, who, who's been 10% from the field all, all NBA season, right? They spend one summer in the gym and they're like, hey, yo, listen, I'm out here shooting Steph Curry at the gym. Stop. Okay, stop it. But let's just say they're right, right? Let's just say Panasonic is telling the truth that they're going to have, they phase take autofocus is going to be the coldest thing since Sony's autofocus. I mean, sure. But is that enough to make me leave? Okay, so number one, I want to start off by saying this. Panasonic low-key when it comes to video features, they they been a, they was the GOAT for a while. But the problem was they were constantly getting overlooked because their cameras just did not have autofocus. And in, in, in today's times, that's almost like a non-starter. But when we look at video features, like for real, for real, if we look at the S1H when it first dropped, it was Netflix certified. It had 4K60. I mean, like it had it. Yo, the S1H was a goat when it first came out, but then the autofocus is like, yo, bro, I don't care how good your video features are. For what most people are doing, for most people who are using mirrorless cameras, most of us need autofocus. Now, if you were to reshape this, what they did with the S1H and they just kind of reshaped into a cinema body then, sure. But if you want to push a mirrorless camera in today's time, you need to have great autofocus. It just is what it is. So the question is, is that enough of a selling point to make me jump ship? Let's let's kind of go over some things. Number one, my concerns with Panasonic is deeper than just the autofocus. Okay, like there's some other things that they need to kind of work out other than this autofocus to kind of make me jump ship. Like number one, to be real, the fact that after all this time, y'all lens selection is still trash. I, I mean, and prime example, Panasonic does not have a 16 to 35 f2.8. I know it's it's wild. Google it. Trust me. They only have an F4 lens now. Sigma does make the L mount lens of the 16 to 28, but sometimes you know some people need the 16 35 F2 weight for whatever reason they need it for, and F4 may not be enough. Panasonic doesn't make a native 16 to 35 mount. Like honestly, there's no 16 to 35 F2 weight for the L mount lenses. Issue number one: lens selection. And with that being said, this is kind of why like Sony is like the Apple of cameras right let me tell you what i mean by that like prime example apple is not letting go you like they they just not letting go of this light adapter crap whatever the case is right they they have yet to put usb-c on their cell phones sony have yet to give us internal raw in their cameras apple has a lot of accessories into the ecosystem you're like man i can't leave sony has a lot of lenses within the ecosystem i'm like man I can't leave. So for, you know, so Panasonic realized, yo, it's deep in a rap, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, folks, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do more than just have good autofocus. Like, so I got good autofocus, right? So your camera finally got autofocus, but I'm still essentially using your camera the same way I was using my Sony camera with less of a lens selection. Mm, that's tough. That's that's tough. And speaking of that lens selection, the 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 number two concern point of this is you know are your old lenses going to be compatible with your new body when it comes to the new autofocus right so if you made lenses that were only essentially DFD compatible you know how are these new lenses going to take advantage of your new autofocus system so that you know so now we're now we're even less of a lens selection than we were as previous before you had the trash autofocus ah and now this is kind of pushing me towards like the bigger issue with this, you know, with Panasonic having new autofocus. Because the thing is, if your new camera's gonna have the new, like if your new camera's gonna have a new autofocus, 
that means your other cameras are not. So the thing is with Sony, like I said, that ecosystem, baby, that ecosystem, uh, psh, crazy, right? You can essentially get any Sony camera at this point from the A6000, 6300, 6400, 6500, 6600, FX3, FX30, A7S3, A7R5, I mean, you name it. All those cameras have great autofocus that you can pick up for a B cam. So if you want that same type of, you know, quote unquote, Sony Canon better killing autofocus, you're gonna have to buy essentially two of those same Panasonic bodies, which, you know, more than likely they're gonna cost at least like $3,500 and up. Then you're gonna need new lenses. So, you know, unless Panasonic can give their GH6 or their S5, the new, you know what I'm saying, a firmware update for the new autofocus, which more than likely they can't because their sensor just was not built with the phase detect on it. That means you, nine times out of 10, if you want a great autofocus that's, you know what I'm saying, that good, you're gonna have to buy two of those bodies out the gate with expensive ass lenses because they, there's no really there's no real third party lens options for Panasonic. Now listen, don't get me wrong, I am very happy that Panasonic has finally woken up and seen the lights. Like bro, it it should have taken this long. Like a lot of people tell you in the community who's been in this camera world for a long time, right? If Panasonic would have been had autofocus, that'd have been killing a lot of these companies. I wouldn't have left Panasonic. Lens selection and all, I would have had the lenses by now that I wanted. I would have stayed with Panasonic because they have phenomenal color science. They have phenomenal video specs. They've been had flip out screens. They, you know, they're some of the only cameras that does like, you know, shutter angle with true 24P, DCI. I mean like Panasonic, when it comes to the video features, like they are it, like they, they got it, they got it. But man, once you get a taste of autofocus, yo, be you ain't you not you not going back, fam. You, I'm just gonna be real with you. you. You're not going back. So with that being said, I have a question for y'all, and I really actually want y'all to answer this. With Panasonic having new, you know, supposedly reliable autofocus. Are you prepared to jump ship? Are you jumping ship? Are you excited for the new Panasonic camera? To be real, I'm excited for the new Panasonic camera. I ain't going nowhere, but I'm excited for the new Panasonic camera. But what are your thoughts? That being said, man, make sure y'all follow me everywhere. IG at Brooks Media with two S's. If you want to add the S, you ain't spelling it right. It's your boy Sean B at Brooks Media. And we out. Deuces.